storyteller and uh, singer from Glen Arm and the Glens of Antrim. Uh, but I want to take you to Belfast for this wee story. Uh, there, was a, there was a poet, a man by the name of Crawford Howard, very famous Belfast poet, and he specialised in writing uh, humorous verse. And he was well loved, and he wrote many, many, many uh, uh, recitations over the years. And I'm told uh, when he died, he was cremated up at uh, Roselawn Cemetery in Belfast. And as the, the mourners walked in to the, uh, to the, uh, the crematorium, playing over the uh, loudspeakers was a poem that Crawford had written, his most famous one, one called The Diagonal Steam Trap. And it was his wish that at his funeral that people wouldn't be sad, that they would be happy and that they would be laughing. And, uh, and so he had this played over the, uh, the speakers and everyone, I'm told, was laughing and enjoying Crawford's sense of humour. It's called The Diagonal Steam Trap. I'm going to do it for you now. They built a big ship down in Harlands. She was made for the sale to the Turks and they called on the yard's chief designer to design all the engines and works. Now finally the engines was ready and they screwed in the very last part. And your man says, let's see how she runs lads. Be jabers, the thing wouldn't start. Well they pushed and they worked and they fluttered, and the engineer's faces got red, and the designer, he stood looking stupid, scratching the back of his head. Well, while they were fiddling and working, up Dander's old Jimmy Dalzell. He had worked 20 years in the island, and 10 in the aircraft as well. And he pushed, and he shoved, and he elbowed, until he made his way through to the front, and he has a good look round the engine and he gives a few mutters and grunts. And then he says, Mr Smith, do you know they've left out the diagonal steam trap? How the hell do you think it could go? Well the engineer eyed the designer and the designer he looks at the hat and they whisper the one to the other, diagonal steam trap, what's that? Well, in the meantime, old Jimmy had scarpered away back down to throw darts at his bird. And the foreman comes up and says, uh, Jimmy, do you mind if we have a wee word? You see that diagonal steam trap? I know it's left out. That's bad luck. But the engine shop's terrible busy. Do you think you could knock us one up? Well, old Jimmy was laughing and scone off. He'd made it all up for a gag. he seen what was stopping the engine. The feet pipe was blocked with a rag. But he sticks his hands in his pockets and he says, Aye, I'll give you a hand. I'll knock his one up in the morning. The whole bloody thing will be grand. Well, old Jim started work the next morning to make what he called a steam trap. An old box, a few bits of tubing, and a steam gauge stuck up on the top. <clears throat> and he welds it all onto the engine, and he says to the wandering mob, You see, as long as that gauge is at zero, the steam trap is doing its job. And then he pulled the rag out of the feed pipe, and he gave the old engine a try. Be jabers, she went like a clapper, says Jim, that's her now. Well, the ship was the fastest built ever. And they sent her away to the Turks. But they tell them that steam trap's a secret. We're the only ones knows how it works. But of course, they could not keep their mouths shut. Soon the whole story got round. And the Russians got quite interested. Them boys as their ears to the ground. And they sent a spy dressed as a sailor to take footies of Jimmy's steam trap. And they got them back to the Kremlin and they all stood round to look at the snaps. And then the head spy says, 
I'm damned if I can see how that works. Well, they sent him straight off to Siberia and they bought the whole ship from the Turks. Well, when they found out it was a con, like, they couldn't admit they'd been had. So they built a big factory in Moscow, started turning out steam traps like mad. Then your man, Putin, he phones up Donald Trump and he says, Yuzhin's think she's our great, but you'll find me our big new Russian made steam trap. We have got you all bait. Well, old Trump, he nearly went harpy. And so he thought he'd give Harlins a call. And he dialed the engine shop number. And of course he got sweet bugger all. But then the call come through to Jimmy. In the midst of a terrible hush. There's a call for you here. From the White House. Says out Jim. That's a shop in Port Rush. Well. There's a factory outside of Seattle where they're turning out steam traps like hell. It employs 25,000 workers. And at the head of it, Jimmy Dalzell. 